Greetings everyone, Master Grogan here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Day 29 of the 31 days to become bullyproof. Holy cow. What are we talking about? Well, the last two days, if you tuned in, we're talking about one of my absolute favorite books of all time, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. First day, which is day 27 actually, of talking about this book here, was be impeccable with your word. Don't bully yourself by lying to yourself. And day 28, we talked about the second agreement, which is don't take things personally. And then I added in also don't be offended by everything. Today, day 29, if you can believe that, Woo, 29 days in, we're talking about the third agreement. And the third agreement is don't make assumptions. Yeah, don't make assumptions. Anybody ever done that before? <laughs> many, many times, and I often catch myself uh, doing it even today. But the more I talk about these things, the more I kind of keep that in the, the, the front of my subconscious mind to remind me, hey man, you're telling everybody else about it. Well, don't you do it. That's a hypocrite, isn't it? It is, but we're all, I mean, we all make mistakes. We all goof up. But don't make assumptions that you know what somebody else's intentions were or what they're going through. And there's where we get in trouble. Now, we all know if you write out the word assume, A-S-S-U-M-E, there's a little thing I've done with our instructors in the past. You write that word out and then you draw two lines down it. So you got the word written this way. You draw the first line after the A-S-S, -S, okay? Then you got the U. You draw the second line after the U. So you've cut the word into three parts. And that pretty much says what happens when you assume. When you assume, you make an ASS, ass, out of you and me. Have you ever heard that before? I'm sure most of you probably have, but if you haven't, think about that. Anytime you make an assumption, or anytime you assume, that's what you're doing. Making an ass out of you and me. It's right there in the word. Wow, bang! Big right hook of reality there, if you haven't heard that before. And then follow it up, left uppercut of truth. That was kind of soft one. Boom! There it is, much, much better. So my point is, don't make assumptions. I'm, I, I keep talking about it because I need the reminders as well, but we have no idea what other people are going through. You know the old saying, until you've walked a mile in somebody else's shoes, you have no idea what they're going through. And we truly don't. We can think we do because we're smart, we're intelligent, and we know everything. But that's not being very humble. And that's assuming an awful lot, assuming we know an awful lot about a person that maybe we don't. And the reason I bring that up, you know, there's people, uh, there, there's a lot of people that maybe aren't the nicest, but how do we know they're just not having a bad day? Maybe they are a good person. Maybe they're going through a bout of depression. Maybe they got some other struggles that we know nothing about. Like I said, unless we walk a mile in their shoes, we have no idea the battles they're fighting every day. But I guarantee you this, regardless who you are, we're all fighting our own battles and others are fighting battles we know nothing about. I often talk about, we are all to take all of our problems and throw them in a big pile. You can see everybody else's problems, see what everybody else is dealing with, see what everybody's battling through. We would see their problems, we'd probably dig back in that pile and say, you know what, I thought I had it bad. Let me go ahead and take my problems back. You know, man, you keep your problems. But what happens when we assume? We assume we know everything. We assume we know what that person's going through. Now, by all means, I'm not telling you to, to allow people to disrespect you or to treat you like garbage. Absolutely not. However, it's what I talked about in the last video about uh, um, taking things personally. Oftentimes, when somebody's rude, mean, and disrespectful to you, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. It does. So that's another way about making an assumption. Don't make assumptions that they know what they're talking about if they're putting you down. Wow. Think about that twist, right? All right, so don't make assumptions. Easier said than done, of course it is. Everything's easier said than done. But the more you think about it, the more you work on it, the better it's going to get. So there you go. Day 29 of the 31 Days to Become Bullyproof is from the book, The Four Agreements, don't make assumptions. All right, everybody, I love you. God loves you. Please share that love with the world. And until we talk again, you get out there and do your best, and I promise you'll be your very best. You'll become bullyproof. Yes and you'll live your best kick in life. Tune in tomorrow for day 30 and the fourth agreement from the book, The Four Agreements. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.